This building was built in 1964 and this is what happens every time I plug anything in that it's uh, the exposed metal prongs are unsafe people can get electrocuted and in bad cases it doesn't even make good electrical contact so whatever you're charging or whatever you're trying to operate it won't even be powered properly so in this video I'll show you why this happens and I'll show you what you can do about it here on the ground I have a du standard duplex outlet and this video is about North American standard colors and outlets and everything and electrical stuff so but by and large in principle all outlets look uh, or work uh, with the same principles so this is what it looks like when you take it out of its outlet box and then these screws hold the unit in the outlet box I cut the wires at the back and uh, yeah this is a this is an outlet a duplex outlet that was around in the 1960s so when I cut one open because it's not just gonna you can see the crack lines on it it's not just gonna fall apart on you it has to be it's glued and riveted so it has to be forced apart when you plug in the male prongs go in like so so if I take off those parts you can see where the prongs end up let me just take off this little plate here that is insulated away and is not connected to the energized parts you can see it's sitting on top of this uh, plastic otherwise Bakelite box there and it's so that it's not connected to the energized parts which are those copper plates so when you plug anything in the prongs end up there right about there and why this happens is because over time there's two reasons for it over time the thickness of the copper plates that the prongs are contacting they wear away so these copper plates get thinner and also you can kind of somewhat see that they are that the, the distance between the two plates that provides a snap fit for the male prongs on the plug the distance increases they get bent outwards and instead of a proper snug fit it provides a loose fit okay these copper plates are energized from these black wires there and the black wires so go in there and oh by the way those wire release holes or access holes whatever those don't work in most cases and I just take out this one so through these two holes the wires come in you can see those round holes there so the wires end up energizing the plate in approximately this position the black ones in North America the black ones energize the plates so that's how these plates look like when I take them out of the box and again that's how the prongs on the male plug make contact with the energized metal parts and it's yes it's gappy it's not a nice fit that's why in some bad cases these loose outlets don't even carry current properly so if you plug in your iPhone you think it would charge overnight or whatever but it won't in some cases so the well theoretically you could fix it by bending these metal plates back you can see this lower one is still straight and this one is bent up and out so 
you could maybe hammer on it or with some pliers you know uh, force it back however it's just not worth the effort because you would need to break apart this unit because it's riveted and glued so it's not just gonna come apart what you can do and is super cheap is buy yourself a 10 pack of new outlets with their face plates ten dollars and sixty cents and ten dollars and sixty cents or something like that nine dollars fifty whatever it was and just replace all of them okay instead of having this ugly painted over disgusting yellow whatever grandma color you're gonna get some nice bright white fresh look on your outlets these are also temper resistant so you can see kids can't push a hairpin or whatever readily through it either so they are not open like these old ones